have a good day. LA Beast here. Today my mission is quite simple. And that is to reach into this mystery grab bag full of awesome and taste test 10 of the weirdest foods in existence that just so happen to come in a can. Why? Because I'm hungry. Now in the past, I've consumed Sir Stroming, a Swedish delicacy consisting of rotting fermented herring in a can, which smells like dumpster juice. Or cheeseburger in a can, which tastes like stale beef jerky drenched in toilet bowl water. But today, after searching far and wide, I have compiled a smorgasbord of some of the strangest canned food items in existence. And all that I plan on doing is putting my stomach to the test and potentially sending my taste buds to a place where they have never been before. To idiot land. Because I know what's in this bag and it is 100% royally going to suck ass for me. So without further ado, let's get started. First up, we have Sweet Sue's whole chicken in a can. To which I've had this item in the past, and it kind of reminded me of a chicken doused in booger juice. And today, three years later, when I open up this can, I hope it'll be a different story. Nope. All right, let's give this chicken in a can a whirl. And I'll tell you exactly what I think it tastes like. Right off the bat, it just, it's very gelatinous. It says, uh, it's, uh, it says to definitely uh, refrigerate it before eating. And it is, it's very gelatinous. This is the broth, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay. And here's a piece of the chicken. Uh, let's see what this tastes like. All right, my, my, my honest opinion, uh, it did. It, it, it tasted like if a chicken tried to cross the road and got hit by a, a semi-tractor trailer filled with containers of boogers. Uh, that is pretty much what it felt like I was just eating. It has like a very squishy chicken taste that it does. It kind of has a nice little hint of pickles. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the Sweet Sue's whole chicken in a can. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. Next up, we have New England's finest brown bread in a can, which is 99% fat free with no cholesterol. Now, I like bread. Uh, it goes well with peanut butter and jelly, but never before in my life have I seen bread that comes in a can. Like right off the bat, it, it, like it, it, it already smells like my grandmother's attic. Oh, awesome. This, ladies and gentlemen, is brown bread in a can. And it, it looks like a, this is awesome. Okay. Let's just dive right into it. Like I said, it smells like my grandmother's attic, but it also smells like rotten wheat bread. It seems like it's very moist. It's filled with moisture. I'm eating fucking bread from a can. Not bad. That is actually not bad. I like it. Brown bread in a can, New England's finest. Oh. Nice. It also kind of tastes like it would remind me of uh, what a log of shit would taste like. Brown bread in a can, ladies and gentlemen. This one should be interesting. Simpsons premium quality spotted dick sponge. Now I've never had dick sponge before in my life, uh, but I did attempt to try and eat an elk's wang one time. And it did, it tasted like chemicals. Uh, so I can already tell that this is going to be a much better experience trying some dick sponge. It does, it, it, it kind of smells like apple cinnamon uh, with mossy rocks. Okay, I, I don't know what I just said. Kind of, it actually does have like a pumpkin pie kind of smell to it. And like a pumpkin pie like texture to it. Interesting. Uh, 
Th this is what spotted dick sponge is. Let's see what it tastes like. Interesting. It does. Now, it's very dry. There's no moisture to it, uh, but it tastes like the filling from a pumpkin pie with raisins. It's like a raisin pumpkin pie. Spotted dick sponge, ladies and gentlemen, not bad. I just ate spotted dick onto the next. Awesome. Now, I've been wanting to try this for years. What it is, is Scottish haggis. Now, all that haggis is, it's a food staple in Scotland, which consists of sheep's heart, liver, and lungs, mixed with onions, spices, and salt, encased in the sheep's stomach. Wow, it doesn't smell bad. It, it kind of smells like corned beef and hash. Have you ever had that for breakfast with your eggs before? Here you go. Scottish haggis. Uh, yeah, it does. It kind of looks like if I uh, if I ate an entire box of cocoa pebbles uh, and then I, I, I vomited them back up, and then put them into an ice tray and put it into the freezer, uh, it looks like I, I barfed up cocoa pebbles. It does, like right off the bat, it has these little little white circle things that kind of look like worms. Uh, when I was living in the Bronx in college, I would buy these big bags of rice and I would find these little tiny like silkworms in the rice, but I, I was so hungry I would eat it anyway. Here you go, like I, I've, eat, I've eaten dog food before. So this should not, this should be a walk in the park. Haggis, ladies and gentlemen, which is sheep heart, lungs, and liver. If, like if, if, I, if I cook this up and put it on eggs, like uh, corned beef hash, this is kind of what it tastes like mixed with dog food. And, and a little bit of butthole. I just, I got a hint of butthole just there. But it looks a lot worse than it really is. Haggis. Oh f That's right, folks. The taste that we all love is back. And that is Loma Linda's 100% meatless fried chicken in a can. Hmm. All right, uh, right off the bat, uh, they look like turd nuggets, and it, it, it does, it, it kind of, it smells like a sour fart. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to pick up a fried chicken piece in a can, uh, and as you can see, I'm dripping uh, juices all over the floor, but this is interesting. Let's see what a fried chicken, 100% meatless thing tastes like. Okay. It does, it, like it has the consistency of a soggy Twinkie uh, that has been doused in Chef Boyardee tomato sauce. Oh. Uh, there's just this weird juice inside, um, and it did, like it tasted like I just somebody farted in my mouth. Loma Linda's fried chicken in a can. Now what we have next is the Mac Daddy of weird canned food items, and although I thought it would come in a bigger can, this is Rose Pork Brains in Milk Gravy, which is a southern delicacy here in the United States. I've had goat brains before, but I've never had pork brains, uh, so I'm interested to see what this can holds for my future uh, as I open it. Oh, oh boy. Huh. I mean, uh, okay, right off the bat, when I was a little kid, I used to, like, my mom used to give me this pink medicine whenever I was sick. Um, so it does, it looks like Pepto-Bismol right off the bat. And it does, it, 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 it kind of smells like rotten tuna fish. Uh, rotten tuna fish juice. Oh, let's just pour it into the glass and, and drink it. So here we go. Rose pork brains with milk gravy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy. Mm. Oh, okay, great. All right, there we go. There we go, brains, brains. Oh. 
brains, brains are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. All right. Oh, I mean, in my hand is in fact, oh God, it's a pork brain. What I'm going to do right now uh, is just eat it and tell you what it tastes like. No, pork brains. So I just have If you've ever gone to the store and purchased uh, crumbled up blue cheese, it has that same consistency uh, when you bite. It's like a blue cheesy chunkiness to it, uh, and it does. It has an after an aftertaste of stank. Uh, it's just straight up stank in my mouth right now. Yolo. and milk gravy on to the next <laughs> all right now this is where it gets fucking weird this is alaskan reindeer chunked in gravy and this particular reindeer uh, was purchased from alaskan natives along the bering sea so as i'm getting my bearing straight hopefully this will be one of the finest that i've ever tasted according to this package okay uh, right off the bat there there's white chunks on it uh potentially see I just got I got chunked gravy all over the garage floor uh, it does it kind of looks like a, a little hamburger patty just like the pork brains it's got it has like a tuna fish kind of smell to it a very bland tuna fish and it looks like a hamburger patty without further ado okay it's very tough uh, it's very gamey it seems like it was, it was hard for me to get the fork in there uh, this is I'm about to eat reindeer oh Oh, it's very chewy. It's definitely a very chewy game, gamey type meat. Hmm. It does. It, it, it kind of tastes like uh, beef jerky fish eyeballs. Uh, it, it tastes like beef jerky fish eyeballs. It's got a very like smoky uh, jerky eyeball taste to it. Let me taste, take one more bite. It's actually not that bad. reindeer right now and it does it says in the package I believe you will find this product one of the finest you have ever tasted uh, and I agree I, I, I've never had Alaskan reindeer but I would recommend this it's, it's actually pretty good all right so what we have next is Rocky Mountain style smoked rattlesnake which is a true Western delicacy and although I've never had rattlesnake before I've eaten frog legs, entire fish, and I've even had the Filipino delicacy balut. So this should be a walk in the park, as long as I remove the bones before sampling. Okay. All right, fair enough. Right off the bat, it just, it smells like straight up beef jerky. If I went to my local Wawa and I bought a thing of like, beef jerky this is exactly what it smells like all right now what I've done I've emptied out the rattlesnake juice which actually kind of looks like a homemade apple cider during Thanksgiving time uh, ah, and it does it has like a nice beef jerky taste so uh, cheers bottoms up ladies and gentlemen if I was drinking olive oil olive oil gasoline uh, is kind of what it tastes like at this exact moment in time uh, it has the jerky smell, but it just, it, it doesn't taste good at all. <coughs> rattlesnake juice. What we have here is actual <laughs> rattlesnake meat. Uh, yeah, this is what it is. Uh, this is rattlesnake. And uh, one of them looked like they had teeth on it, but you know what? It says remove the bones. This one looks like it doesn't have any bones, so rattlesnake. It does have bones. 
It's very bland. I I've had like alligator before. I went to a restaurant that serves alligator. It is, it's just a very uh, gamey. Yeah, this, this one has teeth on it. And as you can see, these are rattlesnake teeth. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if you can see it that way, but uh, it's, it, it really has no taste to it. Oh! It, it, it's very bony. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, done. Rattlesnake. It definitely smells like it's smoked, uh, but it tastes like shit. All right, as we near the end, I have here in my hand wheat lacoche, uh, also known as corn smut, which is a plant disease caused by pathogenic fungus. Uh, and it does, it grows on all above ground corn species. So, like if you. Uh, eat a stalk of corn or eat corn on the cob. This stuff is a fungus that grows on it. And right now, uh, because I'm the LA beast, I'm about to see what point la coche tastes like. Well, I can tell you right off the bat that it looks like shit. Uh, there you go. It, it just looks like a, a big can of shit. All right, here, let's, let's see what this looks like here. Oh, okay. Hmm. Ugh. There you go, it does. It kind of looks like uh, rotten seaweed spinach cabbage uh, with bits of corn in it. Wheat lacoche it looks disgusting, but it's actually like a delicacy. Uh, it doesn't, I guess, I guess it's like I'm about to eat like soggy uh, Brussels sprout spinach. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to eat, uh, I'm about to eat corn fungus. Uh, corn fungus, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it, it's very spicy. Uh, I can taste like spicy. Fair enough. Uh, it's like if I had a burrito uh, and like the beans in the burrito, like a black bean in a burrito is pretty much what this tastes like uh, with like a minor spicy kick to it. Point Lacoche. All right, I, I'm never fucking eating Point Lacoche ever again. Uh, we're done. Now, like they always say, you must save the best for last. And what I have here is pre-cooked scrambled eggs and bacon in a can. Interesting. Uh, it doesn't smell like anything, but yeah, like if you've ever gotten one of those giant uh, tubs of popcorn, uh, it looks like scrambled eggs, popcorn. Uh, yeah, I guess, or like uh, if you've ever had space ice cream, uh, it's like a space ice cream consistency. I've definitely had in the past uh, chunks of milk. Uh, and this is kind of what this reminds me of, uh, chunks of milk. All right, what I've decided to do uh, is actually become the first human being in the universe to have some scrambled eggs and bacon cereal. Uh, I want to see if actually adding any liquid to it makes a difference. Yeah, this tastes like shit. All right. I hope at the end of the day, folks, that you all learned something about weird foods that come in cans, because I sure as hell did. And what I learned is that spotted dick tastes exactly like pumpkin pie. Have a good day.